Hey guys, let's take a look at a kit that you're probably never going to see here in the United States, but a lot of European subscribers have been writing in asking for a review of this thing. This is by a company called Multipick Services. They're located in Germany. If you go to the Where to Buy uh, page on the website, you can see their link, and you can go to the site and you find out that they want 47 euros for this kit. 47 euros works out to about $53. So the last guy to ask me for this for, was Fabi. And I, so I went and I placed my order and I got to the checkout. And then they said they wanted $35 for shipping. I, I just couldn't do that. So I told Fabi I wasn't going to be able to afford it. And he said, no worries. Order it. I'll, or he said, I'll order it. You reimburse me. I'll have it shipped to me here in Germany for a few euros. And then for a few more euros... I'll send it to you in the States. We'll save that 35 bucks. So, Fabi, thank you, sir, for sending this to the States and, and saving me $35. I really do appreciate it. All right. It is a very, very nice kit, I've got to say. Um, you get a leather case. Uh, it's got the multi-pick logo impressed on the bottom of it. It is all leather. Double stitch where it needs to be and a little snap closure. So, pretty nice little case. Um, Let's take a look at the tension tools. Uh, you get a very thin one. Now, this is pretty much what everything is going to be finished like. You notice all the edges are rounded off. This has a lot of attention to detail. The quality of workmanship on this pick set is, to me, just very, very nice. I'm very surprised, at, particularly at this, at this price. The small one measures, and width-wise, it's one-tenth of an inch, which is 2.3 millimeters. You get a little Z-wrench. Um, again, same type of finish on not just to pick uh, the wrenches, but on all the tools. Very nice rounded edge. This also is one-tenth of an inch, or 2.3 millimeters. And then on the opposite end, if we can get the camera to focus, they didn't grind this. This looks like it was chemically etched. It's very smooth. Again, no sharp edges. Very, very well done. And this has been narrowed down, and this measures uh, eight-tenths of an inch wide, or two millimeters. So we got a thick end, we got a thin end, and then the thickest wrench, again a third style, it's L, but this one has a twist if you like that flex, and this is the thickest of all of them. This is uh, 0.125 uh, inches wide, and that works out to three millimeters. So I like the fact that they took the trouble to give you different styles and different thicknesses, because that gives you the flexibility pretty much to attack any lock. Alright, let's take a look at the picks. Uh, again, I'm I'm very happy with these. Um, first of all, they say they are some kind of proprietary steel. I can tell you they're probably stainless because it doesn't react with copper sulfate. Uh, these all have the Euro profile going this way. And in terms of the thickness, they all measure 0.23 inches in thickness. Uh, and that works out to 0 0.6 millimeters. So again, it's just about right for European locks when you combine the Euro profile with that 0.6 thickness, that ought to work out just fine. When you take a look at the handles, they're all laminated, and you, it's very difficult to see the spots where they welded it. Really polished these up very, very nicely. These have some kind of engraving. I think this is just aesthetics. It doesn't really add any texture for gripping or anything. They didn't have to do it, but it is kind of cool. And then when you flip it over, you'll see we have on the pick itself we have the part number so the DeForest Diamond is a part number nine. This is probably the company that made the handles. Again I'm, this is pure speculation. Then you've got the company themselves and of course where they are. It's almost like this is a you know, like a machine gun because you know you're required to have the company, the, the country of manufacture, and on the bottom you got the you got the model number so it's this is the elite version and this one is made in 2016 and then you can see they got a number here and my first thought was that's some kind of part number but then the part number is there so as it happens I ordered two more DeForest Diamonds so let's take a look when you pop them up here they all have Elite they all got 2016 but they all have different numbers so fellas each of these picks has a unique serial number. So I just want to warn you, if you're planning on buying these to commit a felony, maybe perhaps use a lock pick as a murder weapon, 
you ought to grind that serial number off. You just don't want to get caught with that. The Germans track everything, and they have better tracking on these picks than, than we have on machine guns here in the United States, I'm sure. Anyway, DeForest Diamond, you get a standard hook. Again, it's got its own unique part number, part number six, and these are very nice. All of these are, have spent some time in the tumbler. Take a look at all those tips, very nice. You don't have to do anything. I'm, I think you can use these right out of the box. Just beautiful, beautiful work. And again, you got a unique serial number. I probably should cover these up so you guys don't know what my serial numbers are, but since I'm going to be giving this away, it doesn't matter. You get a, a deep hook. Again, Euro Profile, very nice. Um, if I was going to make any modifications, it would probably be here. Probably take a little bit of that hook off. It might be a little bit deep to fit into some locks. And then you get a half diamond. Pretty nicely shaped. Separate part number. I'm, I'm just amazed. This every piece of this has its own little marking. Just uh, only in Germany. I mean, I work with German engineers. I know how they think, and they had something to do with this. I'm sure. Okay, those are all of your hooks. You start jumping into your rakes. You get a snake rake. Very nice. Again, a lot of time in the tumbler. And then this one has been specially reinforced. This is a called a double peak or a W. I use this for kinetic attacks, but you'll notice that they didn't take that notch out there. And I guess they did it because that would weaken the shaft. And there's really it doesn't serve any purpose. This is the kinetic attack weapon. So why not leave all that beef in there, I guess? And the Germans thought this through. So if you want to order a part number 15, this is what you're gonna get. Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, you get a, a ball. And that would make a heck of a stabbing weapon. So if you can't afford a machine gun, this will work just fine. And then last but not least, you know, we joke around about the harpoons. Uh, this is very well done. This is really hard, very tough steel. And then they cut a notch there so you can snag the key. And that is very, very sharp. And I'm, I think this will work with no problem digging into a brass key. So there you go. This is the 11-piece Elite kit from Multipick Services. Uh, the cost is 47 euros. Uh, if you live in Europe, you can probably get it shipped yourself for about five additional euros. I think uh, for beginner or intermediate picker, intermediate picker, I think this is a great kit. We have to accept the fact that everything is in Europe, by the time you add the VAT tax, is almost double the price what it here is here in the States. This is a much higher quality, I think, than we're going to find here in the States. And for 47 euros plus another few for shipping, I think this is this is a bargain for you, fellas. This is a great kit. So there you go, the Multi-Pick Services Elite 11-piece pick set. You want to win this thing? Go to the website. We're going to be giving it away. Thanks, fellas. Appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. <laughs>